The following video presentation covers system setup, which is the final step of installing the 2100-696 Frosher Zero Speed Dual Gating Transducer. The SmartScan NG Square controller automatically calculates the virtual timing gate based on rail size, scanner type, scanner orientation, and offset. As depicted, scanner offset is the measurement from the center of the scanner rail clamp to the center of the dual gating transducer bracket. This measurement should be rounded off to the nearest inch. To perform system setup, you must establish communications with the SmartScan NG Squared controller and drill down to the transducer slash scanner offset menu. From the main menu, select the setup option, then equipment settings, then advanced, and finally transducer slash scanner offset menu. Select transducer type to toggle the setting to Frauscher. Select the proper rail size setting for your site. Adjust the settings for each scanner as required. Enter the offset measurement and select scanner orientation in relation to the TO1 and TO2 transducers. When finished, exit out of the equipment settings menu. Type setup to save the new settings. The virtual gate test mode is available as a method to verify that the Frauscher transducer system parameters were set up correctly. While in virtual gate test mode, the goal is to simulate a wheel that passes over the gating transducers and then continues moving to the scanner under test. The system signals when the simulated wheel is in the virtual gate area by cycling the shutters. The following steps describe how to use the virtual gate test mode. From the main menu, select systems functions menu, then virtual gate test. Next, select the scanner you want to test. Swipe once across the gating transducers with a metal object in the direction of the scanner under test. Maintain a speed faster than 1.6 seconds between sensors. Swipe across the sensors again. However, this time continue moving the metal object to the scanner under test while maintaining a constant speed. The shutters rapidly cycle one time to indicate when the system is looking for heat in the virtual window located at the scanner, which should be at the time that the metal object passes the scanner. If the shutters do not cycle, the entry for closest transducer T01 or T02 may be incorrect. Repeat as necessary to confirm settings. The test mode runs for two minutes before timing out. Otherwise, any key press ends the session. Rapid shutter flutter is an indication that two minutes have expired and the test has ended automatically. The event log records a canceled train at the end of the testing session. This concludes the system setup and testing of the model 2100-696 Frosher Zero Speed Dual Gating Transducer Assembly. For more information, contact Southern Technologies Corporation at 423-892-3029 or visit us on the web at www.southern-tech.com.